Hello, and welcome back to the Travelling Wibblies. Uh, got a little video planned for the, well, it's going to take the next couple of days really probably to film it, but it'll be going up next week. And what it is, is uh, today we are prepping Mr. Wibbly for our first trip of the year. So this, we're going to have a good clean outside, inside, uh, going to make sure all the, the levels up oils and all our battery levels are good um, we're going to be who um, deep cleaning the, the carpets we're going to be checking all our gas levels and everything clearing out the uh, the little garage bit we got and making sure it's uh, got what we need for the next tripping in a week's time as you can see look at the back of this thing we have washed this recently as well but we just had so much rain I don't know if you can see but yes, he is filthy. So what I'm gonna use, I usually use um, Auto Gleam for cleaning the van. But when I went to Halfords to get it yesterday, I didn't have the one I actually used for, van, for the van. And I had a box of Demon Shine for 24 pound, it's got the lot in. So it's got the snow foam, it's got the shine, it's got the wheel cleaner, it's got the window cleaner all in and uh, so I thought I'm going to give that one a go and see what that's like. I've used Demon Shine on the car before and uh, I've got to get mum in from the head down. So let's just get her from the head. Oh, no, I've got the head in. There she is. She's got her towel on her head like, yeah, well, as you'll see now, you see it. Mum's going to be hoovering the, uh, and uh, cleaning the, the floors. Oops, she's hit me with a... With the <laughs> She just got me with the uh, Uber. She obviously didn't like being on camera. Takes her a little while to get up the stairs, uh, you know, some of her vintage. And so, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna, yeah, so clean out this, we're gonna wash the, what bedding we've still got up on there. Um, all three carpets or four carpets are coming out to be hoovered and backs washed, deep cleaned. What's the matter? That's it, sure, look. It's just too close together. The fridge will be cleaned out, bathroom will be cleaned out. Under here, under this set, see here we've got the water tank, the fresh water tank, which I'm gonna clean out as well. So, before I can actually start shining up the van on the outside, mum's just gotta get the, the carpets from the inside. So what I'll do, I'll just go back in the house and uh, I shall show you the, um, the demon shine that I'm using. Like I say, it was a, a kit. I'm excused the scruffiness as well. I'm uh, obviously, the, you know, I'm still getting used to this camera as well. It's a very slow thing. So let's just have a look at what we've got here in the demon. When I say slow, I mean, when you move the camera, it takes a, the gimbal, it's a bit slow, but here it is. So here's a demon shine kit. There. What's happening with this thing? All right, we're on the... Right, and let's try now. There it is. There's the Demon Shine. So, comes with a sponge, but, you know, well, here's the uh, snow foam, which goes on first. And then you've got the, uh, the spray, the Shine on spray, uh, which goes on once you've rinsed that off got the wheel cleaner, there we go, um, got the, just the, you know, the dusting cleaner interior here, so we've got that, we've got this one which I don't really use whenever I clean the cars and that is wet look tyres, I mean it rains so much here it doesn't matter, they're always wet look, and it comes with a sponge and a cherry scented air freshener. I'm going to be using my Karcher, but I'm not going to be using it on full whack. But what I'm going to do first is, before I put the Karcher on, I've got this snow foamer. So what you do is, gives a good little shake, and you, uh, you pour this stuff into the, the cup. Smells nice. Yeah, put this back on. 
Smells like cherries. Must be their scent, cherry. Because they give you a cherry air freshener. Pop this in. Like that. And now if mum stands back, I will demonstrate. As if you haven't seen snow foam before. I will show you what it does. Here we go. Get the carpet out of the way. Right, there's no one coming the other side. <laughs> yeah. And once this is on, you give it about five minutes to uh, to do it, let it do its job. And then once it's done its job, you get the old broom and give it a rinse, give it a scrub. As you can see, it does get over you. You're looking at what you're recording. <laughs> Good God. Whose idea was snow foam? All right, you can, uh, I'll come back to you when I'm on the scrubbing stage. Giving it a good clean out now with a with a broom. And the other side. Now, it's not a very good broom. Because it kinda I'd rather one that clicked into place rather than screwed. You can see the dirt really f streaming off this thing, and all. This demon shine does do a good job. Good workout for the arms. This is the bit I usually have Jay do. Because it was his birthday, I let him off. And he ain't here. Otherwise, I would have. Yeah. Especially the fact he ain't drank for a while. All right, now you just spray it off. So we start at the back and the top. Oh, a little bit, couple of bits that get missed.
Right, I think you've seen it enough, sir. So getting soap in my eyes. I will come back to this once I've uh, finished and I'll show you around the finished product. All right, excuse the state of me, but being on a small driveway, you get a lot of, lot of blowback of the water off the, off the fan. So I'm just gonna give you a quick look at how it looks. I think it's come up all right. I don't know if you could remember seeing the back of it, but here we are now. There's a few spots that just wouldn't come off, you know. You know, uh, there's some bits from the rubber seals. That's one thing these uh, jet washes are good at, it's the rubber seals, but uh, it comes up nice, spick and span. The wheels come up lovely-ish. Now, I'm not gonna lie, here we go. If there's two things I hate, the two things even, I hate about motor vehicle ownership, bit cars, vans, whatever, is I hate putting petrol in, because I hate the smell of it, and I hate washing them. So this is as good as it gets. But as you can see here on the seals, they were black, and the jet washer just pumped out all that and made it clean. So these are it's clean enough for me. There we go. And now for my little sort of like thoughts on the demon shine. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think it's as good as Auto Gleam, but if you can get the pack of this uh, Demon Shine, which had all that stuff in that I showed you at the beginning of the video, for just 24 pound, where some bottles of Auto Gleam could be 24 pound on their own, then there's no harm in trying it and seeing if you like it. So yeah, I'd definitely say, yeah, give it a go if you're, and if you've never tried either of them, give them both a go. And then inside here, as I said, we just got mum doing the hoovering, excuse me, hang on. She's taking her hat off now using the carpet cleaner we got, just to bring the carpets up a little bit better. Excuse the noise. And there you go. You can see how dirty they were with that water. Look at that. And it brings them up. Nearly as good as new. So what do you think? You've used it. How do you? How well, how could you think this wax? It's good. Is? Um, I think we've left the carpets a bit long. Yeah, I mean. Should have done it when it was. But it brought them up nice. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So they're just going to be going out to dry now with the others, and be put in. Right, we're back in. Second day. It's going to take three because I uh, thought I had the water cleaning stuff. The uh, tank cleaning and stuff, but I've had to order one that's going to come tomorrow. But Mum's just going to be doing the oovering and mopping the floor before we lay the carpet again, ain't you? Yeah. And let me get off. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just going to be doing a couple of bits under the bonnet and clearing up the top there. So that needs an airing out. So yeah, it's coming along. So we'll, uh, I'll show you when it's done. Right. right, so I'm going to be filling up the screen wash. And these, as you know, can go for about, this must have been about seven, seven pound a bottle for five litres of screen wash. This, I'm doing it as a short as well. This is two, is one pound 99, to two pound. And you basically, you put one of these tablets into this bottle and you let it dissolve. So instead of paying 50 or was it six, seven pound for your five litres of screen wash, you're paying however much it costs to fill it up five litres of water from your tap, which is not even pennies, and 50p for this. So you just got to let it dissolve and there's your screen wash. Little tip, well, I don't know if it's a little tip, but 50p instead of seven pound. Bargain that. Right, so I'm just going to pour some in. And, uh, this little gadget, is, which has been called an orange shiwi, was two pound off of uh, Timu. And it just extends, because it's very awkward to get water down to the, the pipe or the spout. So it just extends it and get, makes it a bit easier for you. And you just pour your water in. Coming out the end. Oh, there we go. Well, at least they put it in with a service. <laughs> so. A little bit went in that I've used since the service, but yeah, I've just put that in the 
garage and save for later. So there we go, that's all done. I'm not gonna check the oils, because again, everything would have been done in the service. So yeah, so like I say, there's your spout that you're trying to get it into, and it's just awkward. That just makes it a bit easier. So you push that spout back down, put the cap on, and we're all done. We'll see you back on the inside. Oh, they can go. Oh, yeah, everything's all mopped and swept and ubered. Smells fresh. So yeah, I've not got my microphone on, so I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> but yeah, not been too bad, is it? No. Yeah, it smells nice. You use that stuff, have you? No. I just got that out of the cupboard. Oh, it smells like it. Wipe wipes, Mr. Sheen. That works for Mr. Sheen then. Right, so that's pretty much the video done. Oh god, tomorrow I've got to just wash out the uh, fresh water tank, so I'll do that. And that will be the video done. I hope it's been enjoyable. And uh, yeah, we're ready now for our first trip of the year. What have you found? My trainers. <laughs> been looking for these trainers. Absolute months. They all right, are they? Yeah, they're fine. Well, they've been indoors. Oh, right. Oh. Well, uh, in, in the house? In, in the house. I have the Alright. All the cleaning's done. The floors have all been mopped, hoovered, and wiped down with all the sticky stuff off it from when like, Harley's been in here with his suites. I wasn't impressed with how the bathroom was left after the habitation check but the sink has come up nice again and so is the tray but they they'd left all the muck there um out to be soaked my no, fault i should have done it earlier i suppose um yeah we're now just getting the carpets back in uh polish the cupboards the uh what do you call that dashboard does need a bit of a hoover up there but i can do that through side doors um, and here comes the first carpet. So I'm going to cut off now and get them laid. Hello and welcome to the last part of the getting the van ready really. And it's the clearing out the fresh water tank and the water pipes and all that. So I'm here, I've got this, got the, I'm on the fresh water tank. And down there is the plug. Um, but in their wisdom a lot of companies make the uh, plug chain not particularly water resistant and it's rusted so i just need to get a um <clears throat> a set of pliers just to pull the uh get the plug up so i can empty the plug uh, the tank because it's got some water in there but i want to use fresh water for cleaning and then yeah i'll uh, pop back to it so yeah it's uh mum just coming with the pliers and i'll uh, give it a go it's uh there you go, you got the pliers there? It's all right. If you give us now you just take over the camera, it's recording. Let's see if this works. Because if it don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do to get the plug off. Ah, there we go. Lovely. So now that's just emptying out the water down and I shall then put fresh in. Right now, so I've got the uh, Puri Soul advanced cleaner there. I'm sure you've all seen it. And I can't remember to be fair if this is, it doesn't say here, if it's a 100 litre or 120 litre fresh water tank. So what I'm gonna do, I know it's three capfuls per 25 litres. So I'm just gonna do 100, I'm going to do 12 for the 100 and just a couple more for good luck, just in case. So there we go. As you can hear, it's filling up from two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's 14 have gone in. We've gone in with 14. And uh, yeah, it says to leave for a couple of hours. 
Here we go. This is, I've got to work this camera out. That's right, I've done it, I've done it. So now I'm going to go into selfie anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm going to, it says to leave for a couple of hours. So I'm going to go shopping and I'm going to run it through the taps and then put another fresh lot of water in to uh, flush it through again. So yeah, <clears throat> so I'm going to do a bit of shopping, come back and finish off the job. Right, I'm just going to open the grey waste tank. Which is empty. And uh, now I'm going to um, flush through the uh, water in the tank that's got the uh, chemicals in it. Chlorine, I think, is the uh, active chemical. I'm going to flush it through the sink in the kitchen and in the bathroom and um, that's that done then and you just need to flush it through with a, another layer uh, what you got another tank full of fresh so there we go water's on water's on and once that's empty we will uh, yeah that'll be it so when the van's all put back together, I'll give you a run round, and that'll be the end of the video. Yeah, just quickly, this clears out all your pipes, and as well as your water tank. So it's basically clearing out your whole fresh water system. I've not put the uh, shower head on, <coughs> because we don't use a shower head. So yeah, it's uh, just clearing out your water tank, and your fresh water pipes, your taps and all that, and then I'll empty, it's automatically emptying straight away from the grey waste tank. And then once that's, all empty, like I say. Oh, it appears that I closed the grey waste tank and I opened it. I'll open it in a second. Yeah, then another full tank of fresh water, flush that through, and your job's a good one. And here we are. We are ready for the off. Everything is clean and tidied up. Let's have a look at the outside. We are ready to go. Uh, there we go. Nicely done. It's taken a few days really because waiting for things to be delivered. Yeah, nice and clean. Let's have a look in the inside. There we go. We walk in. There we are. Drivers are ready. Nice and clear. Lovely jubbly. All ready for the off. So there it is. The van, just letting the water run through now for the last uh, one fr uh, wash through of the, uh, the sink. So yeah, we're all ready to go. So Monday, we'll be on the road again. Can't wait. So like we say, if you have got through this video and you've enjoyed what you've seen and you've liked what we've done, give us a thumbs up leave a comment and again if you haven't subscribed please consider subscriptions subscribing because it, uh, it helps the channel grow we're growing nicely i'm really happy with that it's growing it's nice reaching new people and people commenting and saying hello and that so if you are new say hello and um we will see you on the next video which will probably be on our journey so see you soon